Plasticity is one of the fastest and uh, best tools for quickly concepting and iterating with hard surface modeling. And the most recent update brought a whole chunk of new tools like XNURBS and CVs editing, that's editing spline uh, surfaces. Um, and it's just made things so much uh, cooler, um, even to the point where you can, you know, go and make these into like a base mesh for your sculpting in um, Blender or ZBrush or Nomad Sculpt or whatever you use. So you can make really cool uh, quick designs quickly and then iterate on them um, in poly modeling software or you can make really cool hard surface designs uh, super quickly uh, in plasticity. So in this video what we're going to just cover how to uh, make this uh, shape here. It's really quick and it's really easy and I think you'll all get something out of it. And just quickly don't forget guys that you can get plasticity for 10% off at the checkout for both indie and studio licenses with the code refuge10. Um, in Blender We'll quickly go to my new plugin, which is the uh, Matte Caps Forever plugin. And we're just going to have a little bit of fun and we're going to make a Matte Cap for modeling with today. If you want to skip over to the modeling part, just feel free to skip ahead. Uh, but in this plugin, uh, it's designed so you can just generate Matte Caps very, very quickly without too much hassle. So you click Generate Matte Cap and you've got a Matte Cap. And you can just keep pressing that button until you've got something that you like. Now, I like that one back there. And we're gonna use this one here for modeling. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna change the color of this. I want it to be a little bit more of a blue hue. And we're gonna change the backlight color to be a nice golden color. And we're gonna change the size of that. That's an area light. We could turn it to a point light if we wanted. I think an area light's fine. And we'll change the strength up a bit and the size down a bit, okay? For our key light, we'll keep that as a slightly, actually we'll keep that one as a yellowish color as well, but not quite as strong. And for our fill light, we'll give it a slightly bluish twinge, okay? And we will add a floor plane and a checkered floor texture and we'll bring the roughness down a wee bit and the metallic down a wee bit. We'll get rid of these floor planes. And I think that'll be quite a nice, um, modeling matte cap so we can render that and then we can just save this to our plasticity matte caps folder and we'll give it a name uh, we'll call it bluish modeler very creative and save that matte cap and then once this is finished saving we can reset plasticity and that's the one there okay so we've got our nice modeling matte cap there so what we'll do we'll make plasticity big Okay, and we'll just group everything here. Control G, group it, and hide the group. What we first of all want to do is create this uh, kind of square shape, uh, this cube. So we'll just bring a profile up like that. And then we'll just bring a sphere into it. And we'll give this one of these guys here. Okay, so then what we're going to do is we're going to create another smaller cube over here. Okay. Um, like so and we can press uh, three on that and select all the faces and press shift s twice to create a spline surface and then what we want to do is select none of the outside corner um, ones so we can press alt z to go into x-ray mode and select all of the inside all of the inside points and we press ss to scale it right in okay then we go to two mode and we're just going to press B to give that a nice bevel and then we're going to scale that up. Then what we're going to do is we're going to get press control shift C and choose the bottom there and then we can press control shift V control shift V it's a bit big okay so we're going to scale it down and get it up there like that okay so then what we'll do is we will, we're going to do a radial array, okay, down here of that. And we can radial array till our heart's content. But I think something like that should be fine. Okay. And then I want to just get rid of these top three. Okay. And then we're going to get a bridge curve here. And we're going to go bridge curve, center, 
right click and hide it and then we're going to do that for the rest of them as well okay center and hide it I'm going to unhide but that's going to unhide all of that so we want to hide this group again okay and we'll just delete those okay so now we've got all of these and not all of them are matching up but that's okay we can grab those points and gg and won them to that okay and now what you can see is that we're getting quite a lot of these points so we want to select um these objects here press uh period to isolate them press one to go into point mode select everything and go to the f search menu okay and type in points toggle points okay so we can do that and then we can unhide that and now we've got all of these guys okay and they should be all meeting at the same place we can press p and it's not allowing us to so we got to figure out what's wrong here i think it's these two let's just not work with these two just for the sake of this it's just gonna be quicker and you'll get the picture anyway then we can pipe these okay make them big like that go into the scale right and you can just pull the scale across and you can taper that in like that so we're getting this nice uh tapered edge all right and that's all nice and good okay so then what we want to do is we want to qq these together and actually we'll qq everything together okay and now with these I, for lack of a better word teeth down the bottom okay we can make that nice shape like that okay and the fillet didn't work so we're going to go b and we're going to fill it that again actually let's fill it these and now let's see what happens when we fill it these we'll get maybe a little, something a little bit more crazy okay so fingers crossed that one's going to work which it has okay and then we can come in here and we just want to extrude this one out by pressing e and pulling that right the way in pressing q to make it a union okay and that should be something that we can bevel out like that and then we can add like a little i don't know we could add a little isoparam in here and we should be able to pull that and another one over here and we can even just give this some crazy little thing out in there so there you go like i made this really crazy shape we can you know obviously you do whatever you want over here look something really really cool and it was really really quick so uh, it didn't take very long to make that at all okay we can check it with a different mat cap and all of these mat caps that you see below have been made with the mat caps generator um, which you can get on artstation blender market and gumroad so feel free to download those and and that's about it so as you can see you can you can do a lot with it really really quickly and just remember you can get use the code refuge 10 to get a 10 percent discount off plasticity at the checkout um, for both the indie and studio licenses thanks for listening Tschüss.